Yo, what's up guys, it's Nick from Big Ends Gaming and welcome back to another Madden Rating Reactions. Today is going to be the second to last one. And then tomorrow is going to be the secondary one, which will be my last one. And then you guys will be seeing a Madden video, like a real Madden video the day after. But it's not going to be, it's going to be about Madden. And I'm pretty sure you guys are going to want to watch it. That's all I'm going to say, because I don't want to spoil it. But I'm going to have Madden videos, or Madden, either Madden videos, like actual Madden videos, or Madden related videos, every single day until the 31st, and I'm probably going to keep doing them daily. I just don't know, I just don't have it written out because I don't know what to make of the video. Um, so yeah, today we are going to be going over the linebacker ratings. Now, for the linebacker ratings... I honestly, I think that the linebackers are very top heavy. I think that there are a lot of really, really good ones, and there's less bad ones than any other position really, besides tomorrow's, which is the secondary guys. But today, I'm gonna go over my linebacker list. So first, I have Cleo Mack, I agree, 99, easy. He's easily the best defensive, eh. No, I like Aaron Dalton more. He's easily the best linebacker in the in the league, though. Um, and you're probably like, oh, but there's also another 99 in Bobby Wagner. Well, here's the thing. I'm probably going to get Seahawks fans pissed off by saying this, but I do not think Bobby Wagner should be a 99. Bobby Wagner, if you're somehow watching this video, which you definitely aren't, but if you are, you're still a sick player. I have him as a 98. I just think that he's not on the same level as Cleo Mack. That's the only reason I don't have him as a 99, and I have him as a 98. Then I have Luke Keekley at a 98, I agree. I think that him and Bobby Wagner are on the same level. Then I have Von Miller, but I have Von Miller as a 98. I don't have him as a 97. I think that, I think that Von Miller, Luke Keekley, and Bobby Wagner are all pretty much the same talent-wise. I like them all really well. Next, I have Jadavian Clowney at a 94. Madden has him as a 92. And the only reason I have him as a 94 is because of just, he's been so good. Yeah, he had a rough beginning, but since then, he's been really good. Next, I have Levante David. Now, Levante David's a 90 in Madden. I have him as a 93. Levante David is just so good. He's been on that team for a while. He's been at the top of the league for a while. He's just been so good, and I really love him. He's so consistent. He's just so good. Sucks that his, the rest of his defense kind of sucks. <laughs> they did make improvements, though, in the offseason. Next, I have Deion Jones. I have him as a 92 instead of a 90. I just like his game a lot more than a 90. And then I have Telvin Smith at a 92. Now, Telvin Smith is one of the most disrespected overalls in the game. Telvin Smith is so good. He's so underrated. Just because Jacksonville didn't do well last year doesn't mean he shouldn't get a 92. That is pretty much why they gave him an 88. But I just feel like, I just feel like Telvin Smith is so good. He's such a big factor of that Jaguars defense. He is so, he's just so good. He's so young. He's so talented. I really like him. Next, I have Ryan Kerrigan. I have him plus four. I have him as a 91. That man just knows football. Yeah, he's getting a little old, but he's just so good. He's been on the Redskins for forever. Then I have CJ Mosley at a 90. He's an 87 in Madden. I can understand why he's in the high 80s. I just think that he's better than an 87. Next, I have Darius Leonard. Now, Darius Leonard isn't even on the screen yet. Darius Leonard is in 84, and he is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Ranked linebacker in the league, apparently, according to Madden, which is just so false. Darius Leonard had one of the greatest rookie years from like a really late pick of all time. He was an all pro. He was like a fourth round. Let me see. Darius Leonard. Yeah, Darius Leonard draft. When did he get drafted? Oh, he got drafted in the second round? Wait, I don't want to get caught here. I thought he got drafted in like the fourth round, but that's still like insane how well he's done for a second round pick. 
I think that they are lowering his rating because he's a, he was a rookie last year. I think that the 84 is so disrespectful. I think that he should be a 90, minimum. Demario Davis, I think, is next. I have him as a 87, but in Madden, he's an 85. He's just been very consistent. All these guys that get boosts from my ratings compared to Madden's are just guys that are super consistent. Next, I have Jalen Smith as an 86 instead of an 85. He is a less jump or a smaller jump because he's been less consistent because he just had his breakout year and his previous years weren't too hot. Next, I have Avery Williamson. Avery Williamson, I think is a little overrated, but I have him as an 80. Not overrated in Madden, but overrated in real life. I have him as an 86. Madden has him as an 85. I just, I don't really like him too much. He was on the Titans for a little bit. Now he's on the Jets, and like, what has he done that's so special? Next, I have Leighton Van Der Esch. Same thing as Jalen Smith, pretty much. I have him as an 86. Madden has him as a 86. Oh, I agree with Madden then. But pretty much the same thing. He was a rookie. That's why he's not higher. Next, I have Sean Lee. Sean Lee is an 85. In Madden, he's an 84. If only he could just stay healthy, then he would be higher. It really sucks how he he's never healthy. He's such a good linebacker. Next, I have Cameron Wake. Cameron Wake, I have at an 85. Cameron Wake is an 84 in Madden. He's bounced around a few teams. He's a little over the hill, but he's still pretty good. I actually do think he's serviceable. Then I have Dante Hightower at an 84 in Madden, he's an 83. Miles Jack, I have as an 84, Madden has him as an 83. And then Anthony Barr, I have as an 84, Madden has him as an 82. The reason why I have Anthony Barr ahead of all of these guys, like all five of these guys. And, uh, well, Ryan Shazier, obviously. I, I can't really put Ryan Shazier on the list just because he's been injured for so long. Hopefully he can return and be on the list. Uh, but he is working pretty hard to get there, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, yeah, I just, I just like Anthony Barr a lot more than the guys ahead of him that didn't make the list. I just feel like that he's been, he's had more good years than the guys ahead of him. Besides Terrell Sucks, but Terrell Sucks is on the decline. Let's be honest. All right, that is gonna be it for this video. One more Madden rating video, and then we will be counting down the days till Madden 20 comes out, and I'm going to be grinding Madden 20. Hopefully I'm going to be playing it a lot longer than I did for Madden 19. That's definitely what, what that's definitely gonna happen. So yeah, that is gonna be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I've been your host Nick from Big Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.